Hello. Shall I just pass? Nobody home. Good morning internet, it is 8 o'clock in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we don't have a noisy lawnmower but we have these cute little birds. There's always something that likes to make noise when I do my morning <laughs> videoing. Anyway, um, I'm still in Ayais, Ayais, I think it's how you pronounce it. And today is going to be a very long day. I'll show you on the map what the plan is for today. I am now here and I'm going to backtrack a little bit back to the border with South Africa. Really? And then I'm gonna ride through the IIS Richtervels uh, National Park and then up this road and then I might take this road as a detour um, but I'm not sure about that yet uh, to Aus over here. So that is a lot of distance that <laughs> I have to cover today. I filled up on petrol yesterday completely. Both my fuel bladders are full and my tank so that should be fine and then there's one place uh, on the way where I can also fill up. All right, it's uh, 380 kilometers. <laughs> that really is a lot. So let's see. But that 380 kilometers is including um, that last detour. So if I don't make it, like, then I can just cut that out and just ride straight to Aus the last bit. It should be a bit faster. But we'll just see how it goes. Massive troop of baboons. <laughs> oh, some more baboons there. See them there on the rocks? <laughs> oh, there's a lot more going to cross the road over there. Look, 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 look. look. See them all running here? No, it's a zip. Booms are in race position, please proceed. Okay, will do. Ah, oh, the scenery here is just magnificent. 
red mountains, black mountains. It's just unbelievable. And right on the other side of this small hill, there's the Orange River again. So that actually also means that that's the border with South Africa. So those mountains are actually South Africa again. still riding alongside the border with South Africa here so still the Orange River and South Africa mountains I just got away from the river got through those mountains there which was amazing and now I'm back right here at the border for a little bit more I think let me see yeah see I'll just keep on following the border and then at some point I take a right turn Let's go north. Ah, hey, this is the Fish River. See, so here the Fish River actually drains into the Orange River. That is so cool. Oh, not much water at the moment. see a mine camp on the other side. It's windy. See they're mining for diamonds on the other side of the river, on the South African side. I'm still quite far from uh, where I was on the South African side. So that mining operation there is not the same place where I was. When I was riding around all these armored vehicles, Also doing some digging here. Quite a little bit of digging actually. Well, I've learned my lesson. Leave the diamond mines alone. Look at this. What a view. See a herd of sheep on the other side. And well, that looks also like a major digging up there. That's not natural. You can probably just walk across the river here because it's actually really shallow. So I could just walk back to South Africa if I want to. But I think I'll stay here. Namibia is pretty cool. I just don't want to ride fast here because it is so beautiful. The amount of life that that river brings to this area. Oh, and diamonds, but hey. Yeah, there's another digger hidden in the bushes here. Doesn't seem to be in use any longer though. No. Oh wow, 
Now look, all that area over there, it's probably too far for you to see, but I can see the machine standing on top. That's all being mined up there. It's quite a big area. They're also doing some over here. These are the smaller machines they use. They just sleep in tents next to the sieves. No entry. <laughs> oh wow. See, they're just digging here, just on the side of the road, looking for diamonds. This is a small cap. A little bit of machinery, that's it. Just sieving, sieving, sieving. There you can see the mining activities on the other side really well. That's a huge area. Okay, that's it for the Orange River. I'm now going to turn north here, so I won't be seeing the, the Orange River anymore. But I will still be passing through Diamond Territory, but then of course in the Namibian side. But I'll be passing through an entire area where, where it's all restricted access because of the diamonds. Here comes the turn. Bye South Africa. It's time to really enter Namibia now. I'll just pass. Nobody home. Okay. Look at that paved road after. Uh, 150 kilometers of dirt reached paved Rosh Pina. Not bad, and it's now 11 in the morning, so I'm pretty sure I still have time to do that little detour up ahead because that's dirt. So there'll be a nice escape from uh, Tar, and I have time for it, so that'll be cool. But first, I'll stop in. Uh, Rosh Pina to fuel up. Hi. Hi, how are you? Full, please. Thank you. Yeah, full, full, full. <laughs> more, 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 more. <laughs> Every drop counts. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tiny tank, so yeah. yeah, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, 228 k's to go, and it is 11:30. Uh, but now I'll ride paved for a little while, so that'll be fast. Time to hit some dirt because this tarmac is rather boring. Let's go in here. This looks way better. <laughs> Oh wow, look at this. So cool. 
This is a very big example of the national tree of Namibia, the quiver tree. Actually, it's not a tree, but it's an aloe. It's also called coker boom. Uh, and quiver or coker means the, how you call that, the thing where the San people used to put their arrows in. Uh, they used to make that from these branches. And they also call it the upside down tree because it kind of looks like as if the roots are sticking up instead of being on the ground. And it's just full of them here. I already saw so many. I see another one there. This is quite a big one. But I've seen many. See there? They're just everywhere here. Really cool. See, that's another one. It's a bit further away. It's actually quite windy, so I can't fly my drone, unfortunately. But I am a little bit happy about the wind because this is getting really, really hot now. So the wind at least cools me down a little bit. See, there's another one, quiver tree. I believe I'm now in a spot called Kijk in the Pot, which means look in the pot, kind of. Yeah, I just passed it. <laughs> There was a small abandoned farm there and because the road goes up they used to call it Kijk in die pot because you can pretty much look into the kitchen from the road but uh, it's abandoned now The paved road. Wow, that was a really long stretch off road today. Whew. Train, no train. I am here, house. There's the church of Aus. Hotel, Bahnhof Hotel, Comfort Center. And welcome to the cutest little room. I really, really like this place. Uh, it is quarter to four now. I am shattered. That last uh, off-road detour, it just, it was far. I think today I must have done almost 300 k's dirt and about 80 or 100 k's on tar. So <laughs> I can't believe I actually managed. It was really like, especially the last bit, I was just like, prop, prop, just keep on going, keep on going. Um, so I'm pretty tired now. Um, but I enjoyed the ride. It was just really just fantastic. Um, what else can I say? I just really, really enjoyed it. Um, but anyway, now I'm going to take a rest. I also didn't eat yet. You know, I just kept on going the entire day on just a breakfast. <laughs> um, so that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video. Bye.